there gamer guys and gals, I'm Richie and welcome to IG Critic. With the ever-growing popularity of open world video games, it is now essential to acquire a steed to convey us to our destinations, whether it be to save a princess, or slay a beast, or just as a pack mule because we didn't invest in any stamina points. So in homage to those that carry us across our favourite virtual landscapes, IG Critic now proudly presents six fantastic fantasy video game horses. Now say that five times fast. First up, Despair, the fiery mount of death from Darksiders 2. Bred by a being only known as the Horsemaster, Despair used to be a nice dusty brown, but after being tamed by death, he converted to his appearance of rotten flesh and coarse veins, more befitting for a harbinger of the apocalypse. Death and Despair go hand in hand, and this horse is ever at the ready to respond to his master's call. While astride, Death can reap his vengeance from the corrupted peons littering the land with a few hefty swings of his scythe, or he can just shoot them. Despair can rush forth in flaming wrath to trample any unfortunates in his path. He can damage foes with the explosive wave of fire created with his summoning as he erupts from the ground. Death can leap from the back of Despair, leaving him to charge full pelt, trampling enemies before vanishing into the safety of the void. Despair also provides one of the most daunting character introductions in gaming. The image of death galloping through a frozen wasteland on a fiery charger. You can't get more dark fantasy than that. I know some horses stink like death, but I think Despair has a very good excuse. Moving on from fantasy to mythology. The Pegasus Horse from God of War 2. Every flap of its wingspan propels it aloft in a wave of heat and fire as it rides through the sky on a torrent of flaming glory. The Pegasus was sent to Kratos by the Titan Gaia with the responsibility of ferrying the ghost of Sparta from the decimated city of Rhodes to the island of creation where the sisters of fate reside. He served well, if only temporarily. The Pegasus looks like hot stuff, but it's smart enough not to burn its rider. Because, you know, magic. Or maybe Kratos is just too badass to be burned. Well, if he can survive the fire of Hades. Anyway, the Pegasus is adept at aerial combat, which is instrumental in repelling attacks from the Dark Rider, his griffin, and some flay-happy harpies. Sturdier than he looks, this flying filly is even able to survive the crushing pressure from the weight of a titan's hand and travel through the Grecian skies at high velocity speeds. Who decides to set all these horses on fire? There are some sick people in the world. Next on our list, it's another horse on fire. Still, we have to admit it does look wicked, even in a child-friendly game like Pokemon. There is Rapidash, who looks fierce and has better stats, but Ponita is just too cute to be ignored. The flames are more subtle in Ponita's design, giving it a more authentic appearance while standing on the field of battle. It has a special hidden ability called Flame Body, which has a 30% chance to cause burns on any opponents that make physical contact. Considering these things inhabit lush green areas, it's a surprise that there isn't a constant danger of forest fires. With this in mind, it makes sense to kit your Ponita out with some physical moves. Moves that fit its horsiness such as bounce, leaping into the air to trounce your opponent. Or Flare Blitz, pelting towards your target while shrouded in a cloak of intense flame. However, it's the shiny you really want. If there's anything cooler than fire, it's blue fire. Burn, baby, burn. While we're on the topic, who is your favourite Pokemon Shiny and why? I prefer Shiny Leafeon. The increased saturation just makes him look like a crisper, healthier plant type. Share your Shinies in the comments section below. Horses in Skyrim are hardy stock. They have to be to survive the harsh environments of this winter tundra. Among other things, they are surprisingly good at handling mountain terrain. So good that the laws of physics don't even apply. The only problem is their mortality rate. In tough fights, your steed will meet an untimely end. All except Shadowmere, the token ride of the Dark Brotherhood. It is an emissary of the Void, a gift from Sithis herself, and being so, this horse can't die. 
Okay, it can, but it shrugs off kicking the bucket like it's a bad cold. With a higher defense and health regeneration than its brethren, Shadowmere will also resurrect 10 in-game days after it falls in battle, either at the location of Demise or rising from the dark pool near the sanctuary from whence it first spawns. Shadowmere, black as night, eyes burning with the fires of oblivion, certainly a black beauty. A menacing, murderous black beauty. By the by, Elder Scrolls Online has a bigger variety of mounts to choose from. Aside from horses, there's dead horses, uh, horses on fire, dead horses on fire, and a plethora of panthers, wolves, and bears to choose from. Meanwhile, you can't talk about horses and not mention the Wild West. The Wild Wild West! I regret doing that. Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare. Zombies have arisen to tear the living apart. It's the end of the world, so it's only fitting that the four horses of the apocalypse can be encountered and tamed. They are all tough and fast, and each have their own special attributes. War will set the undead on fire, death will make their heads explode, and- No, no, no! No more dead horses on fire! There has to be something in Red Dead Redemption that's not gritty and miserable. Ooh! I found it! A mythical unicorn also makes an appearance to bring a little joy into these days of sorrow. Surrounded by a constant cloud of butterflies, it gallops with a radical rainbow trailing behind it. With unlimited stamina, you'll be riding the rainbow through every desert in the game. According to Red Dead Wiki, she's the fastest horse in the game. The mythical unicorn has a higher endurance to gunfire, so it's less likely to perish. But it will die if shot in the head. How lucky do you think unicorn horseshoes are? Thinking about it, if the unicorn was shot in the head, maybe not that lucky. Gabriel Belmont has a monumental task with a monumental distance to travel. Luckily, Pan is one of Gabriel's allies. Guardian of the Lake of Oblivion, devout servant of God, and a handy shapeshifter. Though he can rarely directly intervene with worldly events, his transformation skills certainly come in handy when a quick escape is needed. As fun as being a werewolf would be, I think Gabriel prefers his flesh attached to his bones. In order to assist with the fleeing, Pan adorns a white coat embellished with lines of blue power, taking on a form so divine, this horse even comes with its own church choir theme. I hear you seek the guardian of the lake. I will take you to him, but we must be quick. Climb onto my back. Hurry! He rides hard, each gallop creating a trail of flaming purity. An ancient being, even as an equine, he is very calm under pressure, completely unfazed being chased by wags, or having a holy chain whipping dangerously around his head. He takes it all in his stride, faithful to the last. Those were six Fantastic Fantasy video game horses! I promise you, when I was writing this, the fact that most of them are dead, or on fire, is completely accidental. But what do you think? In your mind, what is the speediest, most spectacular steed? If you enjoyed our list of horses on fire or otherwise, then please remember to leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and share your opinion on the most magical mount in the comments section below. As the saying goes, Everyone's a critic. I'm Richie. See you next time. Thank you for watching IG Critic. If you enjoyed viewing it as much as we did making it, then please remember to give a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. For more on video games, feel free to check out our other content here on YouTube and over on IGCritic.com. Those were six fantastic fantasy video game horses. Those were six fantastic fantasy video game horses. Those were six fantastic fantasy video game horses. Those fantastic Those were six fantastic fantasy video game horses in video games! <laughs>